because of the nature of the consumer being very socially savvy, uh, very technological um, kind of savvy and connected. I mean, it's a generation that's connected 24-7. The way that they consume media and brands uh, is in a very different space and way that the generation of X and baby boomers uh, consumed it. So the way that us as a group look at it is one is they don't look at experiences in the form of traditional experiences. They want experiences that are unique, things that create talkability, things that they can take a selfie around or what we call a braggy, where you walk into a hotel environment or your bedroom and the first thing they do before turning on the TV is actually take a braggy, which is a selfie and brag about the experience that they're involved in. So our brand has been centered on taking a traditional service offering, which is really a comfortable bed and great service, um, and take it further to actually create happenings and events within our hotels, and most importantly, food and beverage concepts that would appeal to a younger market, and for them to come in and actually share it with their friends, talk about it, and leave as possibly as brand ambassadors for our brand. I think the other point to it is really that mobile is everything to them. Mobile is the, the way that they keep updated with their friends, with their networks, how they consume media in the, in the form of Twitter. They don't read newspapers. Uh, it all breaks online for them. So um, we've taken it to the degree that your mobile phone for them is the extension of how they can get to our brand. So it's most important for us to be able to really deliver our message on the channels that they utilize, being social media. Generation Y and Z, Instagram is their favorite channel, and that's really, the, really where the audience sits. And we've established our, our social technology strategy around the channels that appeal to this market, and also taken it further down the road to actually start offering payment solutions through mobile, to the likes of incorporating SnapScan into our hotel environment. So when this market comes and consumes within our restaurant space, and one day when they become an actual stayover guest with us, specifically in Gen Y, they can actually pay it by, by mobile device. So what we've established is a association with a number of uh, local bands um, and brought bands into our lobby spaces and bar areas to actually perform. So we've got a mixture of different types of genres depending on the brand within our portfolio. We sit within the African Pride environment, which is our luxury brand. Uh, and generally associate ourselves with bigger bands like Prime Circle and Just Ginger and up and coming bands um, like Gangs of Ballet. And they would actually come and perform within our hotel spaces, which actually gets a different market to come experience your hotel, traditionally not your market that would stay over. Um, and then you take it down to the Fire and Ice um, space, Proto Fire and Ice, a very edgy millennial centric brand. Um, and because of the appeal of this brand, and where it fits in a lifestyle space, we've really associated the happenings around DJ nights, comedy nights, uh, whiskey evenings, and various kind of poolside Sunday type of events, which are drawing a very diverse market. Our brand is already appealing to a Gen Z purely because uh, this age group from eight onwards is already experiencing our brand through their family holidays with their parents. Um, so it's all about kind of making sure that we can position our brand that firstly from a, it's not purely focused on corporate travelers, it's uh, diverse enough in the portfolio and within the service and product offering that we can appeal to leisure business based on where our hotels are located, being in key leisure destinations as well as corporate locations. And if we can, if we can bring those, that generation through, through appealing to their parents um, through a leisure stay experience and whilst they're in our hotel environment, allow them to also engage in with our brand in the way that they like to engage in brands with free Wi-Fi, with connectivity, with having social platforms that can connect with us. And most importantly, listening to what our customers are saying, whether it's listening to our existing customer base, being that kind of Gen X and that the start of the Gen Y segment, uh, and most importantly, listening to what our, what our younger consumers and, and keeping up with the trends in terms of what they're consuming and what's important to them. So we can just make sure our brand stays relevant as they start moving through their life cycle.